Netherlands. That's crossed out to Charles Pellegrin, who's at Le Bourget. Uh, Charles, French President Emmanuel Macron is opening the show this Monday after announcing that more than €2 billion Euros will be spent in order to help develop technologies for sustainable aviation. That's right, the French president making that announcement uh, before the weekend when visiting the uh, Safran factory uh, in France. Safran, obviously, a huge uh, uh, local uh, champion of the aerospace uh, industry. He uh, promised to pour in over, uh, over the next few years over 8.5 billion uh, euros in uh, developing sustainable aviation. That means developing an ultra energy efficient uh, aircraft, uh, a successor to Airbus's A320. It also uh, means uh, pouring a lot of money into developing sustainable aviation fuel and making France a leader of this kind of fuel and a major producer of this kind of fuel, uh, which is basically made from uh, agricultural waste or municipal waste or other ways, just not uh, from fossil fuels. Currently, actually, those fuels only represent 0.1% of all fuel consumption. And the objective in France and in Europe is for all flights uh, departing uh, Europe in 2030, uh, for all, among all those flights, to have 6% using this kind of fuel. So that's one of the ways to try and, and reduce emissions in this uh, industry. And, and really, all these technologies and innovations and some of the recipients of, uh, of, this, uh, uh, financial, uh, of these financial investments from the French state are uh, on show here at the Paris Air Show. Behind me, there's, for example, a French startup called Vault Aero. Uh, that they're producing a hybrid airplane with both a thermal engine as backup and an electric engine uh, as well. And that thermal uh, engine can use a different kinds of fuels. So there are, uh, it's definitely one of the words of the day here uh, at the Paris Air Show. Important to note as well that uh, the, 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 air, the, air, um, the airline industry represents about 3% of all global emissions, a figure that's even higher if you look at a per capita basis. And this has also been unveiled as the recovery air show, as aviation bounces back following the pandemic. What can we expect from this year's event, Charles? Well, absolutely. We're expecting the big aircraft manufacturers uh, to uh, to demonstrate their latest uh, uh, products, their la latest uh, development uh, innovations, uh, and uh, that those are obviously obviously Airbus and uh, Boeing. Airbus, the leader currently, Boeing, its rival, its major rival, in second place. And uh, looking at the uh, the figures from the International Air Travel Association, really shows this rebound uh, in the airline industry uh, in 2022. Uh, passenger air Travel went up 64% compared to 2021, so quite uh, a bounce after a lot of these lockdowns and restrictions were lifted. And 2023 is expected to break even more records, especially with uh, the full effect of China's reopening uh, taking, uh, taking, having a huge impact there. And this is reflected in the forecasts of these major, major airline manufacturers, uh, aircraft manufacturers. Boeing uh, saying that um, it, it, it expects in 2042 to have a global fleet of about 48,000. Uh, aircraft that's double what we have today, 24,000, and that's in line with what Airbus is saying as well, uh, with 40,000, over 40,000 new planes uh, built by 2042 for a total of over 46,000. Um, so what's driving this is the fact that global GDP growth is still uh, going up, it's still increasing, and that means that more and more people are now uh, in the middle class, and we're expecting over the next two decades 500 million new potential air travelers. Charles Pellegrin there at the Paris Air Show. Thank you.